Thomas and Kelly had just arrived at the new library site. The wind's blowing hard, chuffed Thomas. Too hard, frowned Kelly. Strong winds are dangerous for a crane. The wind was blowing so hard that Jack and his friends could hardly get their work done. Kelly's crane arm didn't like the wind. Uh-oh, this is bad. Look out, cried Jack. But it was too late. Are you all right, Chuff Thomas? I think so, but is anyone else hurt? No, said Jack, but you've demolished the shed. Soon Kelly was back on Thomas's low loader. I'm sorry, Miss Jenny, said Kelly. It wasn't your fault, Kelly, said Miss Jenny. We'll get you back to the yard so the repairman could look at those wheels. I'm glad it's only your wheels, said Thomas. Me too, said Kelly. But he was worried. What if he fell over again and hurt someone? That night, the wind blew and the rains pounded down. The repairman worked all night fixing Kelly's wheels. The next morning, the sheds were empty. Everyone had gone to work, except Kelly. The rain had stopped, but the wind was still blowing, and he was worried. Then Miss Jenny came to the sheds with urgent news. Isabella has come off the road at the quarry bridge, she said. We must rescue her at once. Kelly was still afraid he might fall over and hurt someone. Can't you send someone else? he asked. Kelly, there is no one else. Isabella's in trouble, said Miss Jenny, and we must rescue her. Isabella was scared. She didn't like teetering on the edge of the road like a seesaw. Soon, Kelly and Miss Jenny arrived. Isabella, are you all right? asked Miss Jenny. I think so, answered Isabella. Kelly had to remove the piano first. The wind blew and the piano swayed. Oh dear, be careful. Soon, Kelly lowered the piano safely to the ground. Now he had the hardest job of all, to rescue Isabella. Slowly, he started to pull Isabella back onto the road. The wind blew harder. Isabella began to teeter. Oh! Oh! Kelly was worried. He stopped. What's wrong, cried Isabella. The wind's too strong, said Kelly. You can do it, Kelly, called Miss Jenny. You can do it. Kelly knew he couldn't let the wind stop him. He started his winch again. He pulled harder. And harder. Mind my paint, the cheeky truck cried. Isabella was finally back on the road. Phew. Well done, Kelly, said Miss Jenny. Well done. Thank you, Kelly, said Isabella. At last, Kelly had his confidence back. Isabella was on her way again. And Thomas could see that Kelly was happy. <laughs>